I was recently asked, how do you know that the bubble is positioned properly when you are recovering face down after a vitrectomy? In my case, with a retinal detachment, a long acting gas, which lasted six and a half weeks in my eye, filled the eye. So when I was face down, top eyelid, bottom eyelid, parallel to the floor, that bubble filled the whole eye. So if this is the retina, the bubble was doing its job, okay? Now, if someone has a macular hole, that macular hole is in the middle of the back of the eye and the retina has been pulled down like a lift bridge. So when it's, someone is face down, which is the protocol for macular hole recovery in my area, that bubble is able to hit the spot perfectly. So obviously it's a little more complicated than that and I don't, wouldn't call it a crapshoot, but it gives you a little bit of an idea there. Um, the surgeon will know as well in those follow-up appointments whether the bubble is positioned well. So you need to follow the protocol of your ophthalmologist. For instance, I had someone, they were required to be face down all the time, so 24 hours a day with some breaks, of course. Um, but when they went into the follow-up appointment, the surgeon's like, this bubble has moved. What have you been doing? Well, it turns out, the individual had been sneaking off into a bedroom and sleeping on his side. So again, let me just reinforce, follow the protocol that your ophthalmologist gives you that'll maximize your sight. And I hope you gain the same success I had for my surgery in 2014. Thanks for the question and thanks for um, reaching out.